before we compare who is more powerful between the Russian S-400 defense system or the American F-35 fighter, let's watch the video first and don't forget to subscribe my channel now, thank you. S-400 Triumph with the nickname NATO Sa-21 Growler is an air defense missile system developed by the Army's Central, Russia Design Bureau. This system is intended to replace the Russian air defense system S-300P and S-200 which first became the Russian defense system when this. S-400 is an upgrade of a series of S-300 air defense systems with service missiles into the air. The missile system began operating by establishing four S-400 regiments to maintain national airspace in the Moscow region, the exclave of the Baltic Kaliningrad in the Eastern Military District. Air defense in the Southern Military District is also planned to be armed with an advanced S-400 system by the end of 2018. More than 20 S-400 battalion will be sent to the Russian Armed Forces in early 2019. Russia also plans to establish 56 battalion S-400 in the year 2020. Russia intends to supply this system to China. In addition, Turkey also states its intention to buy a defense system from S-400 for his interest in the IDF 2017 exhibition. This is truly a state-of-the-art system from the Russian defense industry. This system is very efficient and high-tech, sophisticated systems, he told Sputnik. No other country in the world has a system like that, even America, which advertises their weapons all over the world and encourages other countries to buy their systems. He further explained that the most efficient air defense system made in the US, the Patriot Pak-3 could not match the Russian S-300, especially with the S-400. He explained that the Patriot Pak-3 missile was launched from an inclined plane while the S-400 missile was launched vertically and after that turned towards the approaching target. This system can involve all in the affairs of air target types, including fighters, UAVs, ballistic missiles and roaming in the range of 400 km at altitudes up to 30 km. This system can disable 36 targets simultaneously. S-400 is twice as effective as defense systems Russian Air was previously and can be used within five minutes. The S-400 can be integrated into current and future air defense units of the Air Force, Army and Navy. The S-400 air defense missile system uses four new types of missiles in addition to using missiles from the S-300 PMU system. The first missile installed on this system is 48N6DM, 48N6E3. This is a refinement variant of the 48N6M missile with a stronger propulsion system destroying air targets in the range of 250 km. The 40N6S-400 missile has a range of 400 km and is claimed to use active homing radar to intercept air targets at longer distances. Thus it can be directed towards targets, and targets that are far away from other altitudes 400 can also launch medium-to-air 9M96E and 9M96E2 missiles. Judges can attack fast-moving targets such as fighters with a high hit probability. The 9M96 missile has a maximum range of 120 km. Command and Control System 55K6ES400 Triumph is based on Mobile Ural Command 532.301. Vehicle commandos are equipped with LCD consoles to process airspace alliance data, control radars and remote monitors, track activities which are airborne threats, coordinate with other batteries. This system is able to exchange data with other systems such as Sa-12, Sa-23 and S-300 and can destroy 80 targets while using 160 missiles. Radar is installed on MZKT 7938X8 vehicles. The Radar 96L6 is an optional radar carried by the same vehicle when the S-400 battery is used independently. The 91N6E radar can detect and track aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, aircraft missiles and ballistic missiles within 600 kilometers and can also track at once up to 300 targets. 
the SP85TE2 launcher is installed on a BES 64022 or MO 79100 tractor transporter erector launcher, or TEL, truck and can carry up to four launch tubes. The F-35 was designed as part of the current development trajectory. Testing facilities further developed the ability to fire off barsight weapons, which are described as the ability to target and destroy air-to-air -air targets that are not in front of the aircraft with direct view or indirectly, Pentagon officials explained. He described combining a powerful airframe controlled by powerful thrust vectors and high high boresight missile capabilities could be used with sophisticated helmets, or helmet mounted views, for wider attack envelopes. This first appeared in, 2016, the F-35 Air Force uses open air ranges and computer simulations to practice combat missions against the best air defense technologies made in China and Russia, as a way to prepare for the anticipated enemy threats in the mid-2020s and beyond. According to the days of the electronically active arrays JSF, or ESA's line, this aircraft is able to provide synthetic aperture rendering of air and ground images. ESA also presents F-35 electronic warfare capabilities Gatling rifles will bring substantial technology to multi-role combat platforms, because it will make it more possible for aircraft to carry out air-to-air -air attacks and close-range support missions to ground forces. Called the Airborne Gun Unit, or GO-22A, weapons are engineered into the aircraft in such a way as to maintain the stealth platform configuration 25mm 25mm rifles are designed for fast fire so they can quickly envelop enemies with gunfire and destroy targets quickly this weapon is capable of firing 3300 rounds per minute according to a statement from general dynamics three bursts of 30 rounds each and 260 rounds each fired from a four-barreled aircraft 25mm gatling gun in integrating weapons into a hidden F-35 airframe, the gun must be hidden behind closed doors to reduce the radar section until the trigger is pulled, said a statement from the Pentagon fighter joint strike. Marked as part of the development trajectory for the emerging F-35s, the firing test facility further developed the ability to fire off barsight weapons. Tests aimed at addressing the threat of the latest air defense systems such as the Russian-made system and also focused on the potential future threats Air Force officials have explained that, looking back into 2001 when the JSF threat began, most European-centric threats, Russia made the Sa-10 or Sa-20. Now the threat in the future looks at threats made in Russia, China and Asia, they said. While training against the best emerging threats in the so-called Herigen open air range is seen to test the F-35 against the best current and future air defense, there is still a lot of work to do when it comes to anticipating high-end, high-tech who quickly develops future threats. This is where modeling and simulation play a big role in preparing for threats, he added this aircraft is able to provide synthetic aperture rendering of air and ground images. ESA also presents F-35 electronic warfare capabilities, according to Herigen. The F-35 was engineered with what is called open architecture, which means it was designed to quickly integrate new weapons, software and avionics technology when new threats emerge. Only so much that I can review. Thank you for watching until it's finished and you can draw conclusions based on your own statement and don't forget to like. Share and subscribe my channel.